Hello and welcome back to the Cargo channel. You find me on vacation, hence the beard. And uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Ivan and this is my car channel, car events and stuff. But uh, since I'm on vacation, I haven't been uploading and I wanted to share something special with you. This up there is really alphabet. It says Retro Museum from uh, 1944 to 1989. And there's some cool cars in there. So I wanted to take you for the journey and bring you with me inside. Let's go. Say hi to uh, one of the ex uh, Bulgarian presidents, Todor Shivkov. But I already know that there is music in there, so audio is not gonna be great. But hey, I'll do the best for you. are the more modern Ladas and right there we have the more classic ones. Around us we have some more classic Soviet cars. These are called Moskvich and they go, these are more classic ones and then when you go this green one, this uh, off-white one, this is the newest one and I believe that's the last that Moskvich produced. Trivia there. Also there is some uh, Lada station wagon and more Ladas. And these were the luxury cars right here. These were called Volgas. And Volgas are awesome. They were big, they had a little bigger engine and you know, the uh, politicians were uh, driving these during Soviet times. I had one of these Russian SUVs in the video from last year that I was here and I showed you the cars you never seen. But this is the Lada Neva. Quite capable SUV even though the engine is very small, but the narrow tires and the narrow uh, car itself uh, helps overcome a lot of obstacles and go through places where even modern uh, Western SUVs can't. And small Ladas. More ladders, and if we found something quite curious. This is an old Romanian car called Dacia, and Dacia is the same car that I am driving right here, but of course a lot newer, uh, almost brand new. And I have a Mosfetch. Let's go around. I also had one of these when I was little. These are little uh, trucks that uh, kids in uh, Soviet countries used to have and uh, you know play with. Also, Zaporozhets, something that uh, you guys have probably never seen unless you come from this side of the world. Uh, Zaporozhets were, well, let's say they weren't very good. Volga was the land yacht of the Soviet Union. It's very nice and spacious, roomy inside. I love that one bench, whole bench, front seat. And uh, these cars are restored beautifully over here. Over here we have a workhorse. It's a mini truck. It's called Zhuk. Very interesting one. I love how they restore everything about these cars. And here is a Warsawa. Uh, by the name Outcast. It comes from Kors, so it's a Polish car. But if I'm wrong, well, I'm wrong. Ooh, these are the modern Volgas. Right there was the latest generation of Volga. And right here is a coal, uh, car called Chaika, which was also top of the top. It was usually for um, people from the government. Zoom you in. Uh, and on this side, we have some more Moskvichs. Moskvich. I had one of these in a maroon color. Those are awesome. Uh, you know, it was a very, very happy time growing here as a kid. Barbrooks had two stroke engines. They had different varieties. The Barbrook wagon over there in the back, you can see it, and the regular Barbrook. And you know, different generations as well. But those two stroke engines made weird noises like the one from that uh, uh, music video. That's where it comes from. Another car that had that same uh, setup engine was the Trabant and that's what we're gonna go see next. 
as I said, Barbara had different generations, and uh, this I think is one of the first ones. It has that almost Western uh, look, and the way it's restored is just beautiful. Also, this must have been a lot of fun to ride right next to the motorcycle and a uh, bucket. That looks awesome. And as I said, here are the Trabants going from generations. Oh, almost trip. Uh, third generation Trabant, and then there is this one. So those are the pa 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 ones, and over there in the back, you see the one that is wagon. Uh, those were quite popular, uh, made from material that uh, resembles quite well cardboard. So yeah, they were very safe. I had to stop and admire the mini car collection. I had that maroon one, that exactly same car. I had one when I was little, but uh, look at the one that looks like a horse. And all the sleighs, these were the best snow sleighs ever. It was great being a kid in Bulgaria back in the day. Here we have some Yugos, Zastava. These are the Yugoslavian cars. And uh, if you follow Team Galak, they uh, had one of these to go for Gumball 3000. I think a few years back. Also back there is are the Polski Fiat, uh, Polish produced Fiat's. Yep, the different generation of on the other side. This small one was quite funny even when I uh, was back home, people, well people still drive these, but uh, it was never a problem to find parking and if uh, it broke, two people could lift it up and uh, carry it over, whatever it is. Here are the Polski Fiat's. These are the 125, and I believe this was called 126. Here is a military vehicle that I don't exactly know what it is. This vehicle was to me, but I could be wrong. Um, I like how the little touch with the saw over there, it's nice, good touch. Here we have some uh, Škodas. Uh, you can notice that this one doesn't have an engine in the front. That's because the engine of these cars were in the back, uh, like a Porsche, almost. There we go. Those, I guess, were the supercars of uh, communism. Right here, we have some more Škodas. And one of the best made Russian SUVs as well was the WAS. If you remember last year, I took you off-road in one of these that was fully functional, even had a propane uh, uh, fuel system. But here it is, look at it. This one is mint and it looks fantastic. It comes with its own trailer. The Retro Museum is awesome. I had so much fun going around all the displays. And besides, also besides all the cars, you have these little things. These uh, non-car things, are like, like the computers. Uh, like all the things that I grew up with and are so nostalgic. Uh, I'm really happy that I got the chance to share this with you guys. Uh, means a lot to me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. But just like that, this one is over, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!